I'm here at SpaceX at Boca Chica. I've been here a few times. First to check out the Apis Core printed laundry room that's in addition to the hub building which is like an employee hangout area here at SpaceX. They've continuously been building a ton of employee housing, all kinds of tiny homes, container homes, mobile homes. They're constantly hiring and there's limited uh, construction, limited real estate in this area. It was very unpopular, very remote until SpaceX got here. And now they're really taking over, uh, building all kinds of stuff, including a second 3D printed building, this time by Icon, who's doing a 100 home project in Georgetown, Texas. And now I believe what's in addition to the Ad Astra School, which is uh, Elon Musk's school that he built himself for, I guess, his friends and family to be able to study outside of the uh, state sponsored school system. So we're gonna take a look at it. They certainly finished the printing. Last time I was here, I had the drone up which is evidently a legal two miles around the radius of the launch facility. So because of the, the rockets around here, you can, there's FAA restrictions. And luckily they didn't arrest me. They had me waiting for like two hours first for the cop, another cop. It was just a couple SpaceX guys that stopped me at first. More kind of like a citizen's arrest. Uh, but I wanted to be respectful considering it's SpaceX, hoping they'd let me come back another time. So they've got all of the roofs on. I'm not sure who they've got up there but they've got a bunch of contractors still working on the building. It looks like it's built in different units. So the whole thing is like a semicircle going around and you have a couple of elements on the right side, the left side, there's a couple of vertical lines going down from the top, maybe every 12 feet or so. In some earthquake zones, they'd have something like that every eight feet, but uh, you don't have that concern here. It does reduce cracking to have some type of expansion joints. They've done a really unique building here, different from any of the other icon buildings that we've seen. And again, I can't take the drone out because it is an FAA restricted area, but they're doing a great job. And maybe if we go around the side, we could see uh, what other, what else they got going on. The building really looks spectacular with this lighting as the sun is almost setting. You have a huge, I guess it's a sea or something, the water uh, that leaves this area barren and able to walk on, even though it's very muddy and mucky. This is all public land here. That's all private property, so I can't go over the fence, but Icon did all of the horizontal layer printing that you can see in that horseshoe pattern. And above, they've done at least two of those raised sections. I don't know if that's a second floor or just a higher ceiling. This building is completely unique, unlike anything you've ever seen before. And that's kind of the beauty of 3D printed construction right now. Ultimately, people want to use automation to make things faster and cheaper, but that's tough. Even prefab buildings are rarely more cost effective than building out stick built construction, but it does shift the labor to be elsewhere. So you don't need a ton of people working locally. You can have them working in a factory in another state and then ship in the units. So for a place like SpaceX, a lot of prefab construction has helped them uh, supply their workforce with uh, the housing that they need to continue building spaceships to get us to the moon and ultimately Mars, which I know absolutely nothing about. However, the 3D printed building, that's my forte. So we'll keep the focus on that, even though SpaceX does have an awesome launch that hopefully I'll get to see tomorrow. If you'd like to get a job working with 3D printed construction, check out humanrobotarmy.com. It's a recruiting firm that sponsors this channel in order to help people like you who are willing to work hard, get their hands dirty, to learn how to work with robotics on the construction site. It's an early technology, so it's really like fighting tooth and nail out there. Blood, sweat, and tears. But if you're up for it, there's awesome jobs for you. From this angle, you really get that spaceship look. It's super unique and totally one of a kind. I'm so curious what kind of developments or learning uh, like notes they had from this project. Seeing as it's the second printed building SpaceX has done, they're clearly looking at construction automation solutions in addition to the prefab that they've got all over the place. I'll show you some of those, but hopefully they can have some kind of technology solution. They got all this sand out here. I'm not sure if it's the right kind of sand to build with, but if you can use local materials, that's an even bigger advancement. One I'm sure they'd love to emulate on the moon and Mars. They're working with Icon and Icon loves outer space. They're always talking about how to print with regolith, maybe even laser sintering with localized material. And they're saying that they've already completed this with moon rock. So it's a matter of how much it costs more than whether or not it's technologically possible. This kind of stuff is really exciting, even though I don't personally know much about space. The problem in my eyes is really here on Earth, creating an abundance of housing so that people can focus their attention on more important things. Well, this is as close as they'll let me get. 
It's awesome to see, I'm not complaining. It's incredible that SpaceX is experimenting with 3D printed construction in addition to all of their other housing experiments for their workforce. It's much better for people to work here than living in Brownsville where they have to go across the border security. It's only one highway and it's like 30 minutes in and out. So they're doing a great job figuring out what the best solutions are. And I just talked to one of their facilities managers who said they're just going with whatever's the fastest because they gotta get heads on beds. Holy cow, does this building look incredible up close. The sun is setting and you really get an idea for how the angles reflect the light and the windows. You've got the water out there. This is gonna be an incredible location. The circle gives it a unique feel and I can't even imagine how special it feels on that interior space that the walls create. This can be a very windy area and maybe that will provide some of the wind shelter. Uh, I would love to take a closer look inside, but unfortunately that's all private property and not going to be able to get a tour inside today but you do get an idea for what an incredibly unique space this is and what 3d printed construction is capable of today maybe it's not the fastest cheapest method in the world but they're doing it here now i heard a whisper number that this project costs something like four billion dollars which is actually pretty reasonable for a project of this size especially considering a project they did in Austin was speculated to be around $3 million for only a 2,400 square foot building. So for this to be so much bigger uh, and also be only a little bit more expensive, they're definitely realizing some efficiency. They certainly moved the printer maybe four or five times throughout this project. And incredibly expensive.